prophetess Debbie Le, 7750 media i decided to clean out my pantry the other day because i needed to throw out stuff that had expired but whilst i was doing that look what i found so that's my prop and it is called bang bang strongman male instant coffee i remembered something when i saw that coffee so i came back to my documents to look for the trigger on the 17th of march 2023 a certain goat of capricorn who is about to turn 59 years old on the 4th of january 2025 told me to drive his car that had just come back from his mechanic. Yes, the mechanic, the stooge, groom of the, of the poop, in the bedroom chambers of their sex god, right? This would be the same one who distributed the pages of the sex diary, which the whole land of Lesotho in South Africa now knows about i'm going to show you that the character of this goat of capricorn is as rotten as that of jeffrey epstein and his best friend prince andrew the scoop diary duke of york in his car on that day that uh, that he told me to drive it because there was actually something wrong with it, so it, the, the engine needed to be kept running, was a box of Rise CBD Libido, formulated to enhance sexual performance. Since he is altogether a sex addict, and this is all that he thinks about, even when he is sitting in meetings. So here's what it looks like. And I will talk about those colors another time. And remember, I've always been saying that the hot pink makes me really hot. Right. So literally, any meeting where he participates must offer him the opportunity for sex at work. Remember the previous video? The man of the 400 sex videos and it's called sex at work, right? It is my considered opinion, after years and years of knowing this man, that he's not just a sex addict, but the addiction points to something far more sinister and disturbing that goes back to his upbringing and the home environment. I did say that the title of Sia Holisi's book, Rise, was a response to a trigger. Sia Golisi called his book Rise, as translated from his mother's Kosa name, Pagama. There goes that gospel song. Pagama, go see Zulu, rise, O King of Heaven. It is performed by Sri Sonwane, as well as Benjamin Dube. You're going to have to stay with me on this one. I said that Sia Golisi is a national hero and a treasure in South Africa. And he has the mark of circumcision because, number one, he transitioned from boyhood into manhood by going into the bush to be initiated into manhood by undergoing the actual circumcision. Number two, he has the mark of eternity in the number eight, and the eternity loop is a sideline eight. Three, Sia Golisi is also my kinsman and the brother from the Shabalala clan. Number four, this one is a true son of God and the Lord loves him. 
The first dedication Siya Godisi makes in his book is to his wife, Rachel. He also says that the book Rise is also called that because of the progress that he is working to bring in his beloved country, South Africa. He states in chapter 6 that there is one cause that moves him above all, and that's gender-based violence. He states that the only thing needed for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. He writes, men, men feel entitled <clears throat> Please excuse me. Men feel entitled to have sex with women. And that's how they've always perceived the power relationship between the sexes to be. I said that ultimately the symbolism of circumcision is about the heart. But as for me, I have an uncircumcised, almost 59-year-old husband threatening me with medical practice violence for standing up to his narcissistic bullying and abuse and also taking a stand on his verbal, emotional, mental, psychological abuse of my children, which is also financial, by the way. They are constantly being mind manip manipulated and emotionally blackmailed. And I don't need their permission to speak about this. I'm their mother. I've been raising them. I know. Oh, pardon me. I don't know what's going on there. The man is an uncircumcised heathen who is only concerned about the rise of his phallic tool. In the same range as the BBSM coffee, I think I also saw something called BBSM enlargement for thicker, longer, stronger. And I'm pretty sure that I saw one that was named after Jacob Zuma Mshinwami. You know Jacob Zuma's song that he used to sing, Aule to Mshinwami. Mshinwami meaning my machine. Remember that I said from the beginning that the spear gate is coming from Jacob Zuma's spear painting at the King's Gate 8 8. And it will be 8 8, the King's Gate this coming Saturday on the 9th of November, 2024. Wonderful. So the rise of the phallic tool, Mshinuami, of the kingdom of Lesotho, their leading Musutu national and treasure, is such a matter of national importance to the Basutu people. And the royal court and the brotherhood that no one thought they should tell this man to stop messing around with people's wives and households. It is 1522 right now. Remember that his closer than close mechanic friend sent out the sex diaries at 1522 on that day in September. You know that song, that day in September? I think it's called Somebody Else's Guy. On the 28th of September 2018, the LNDC CEO told the media that they were partnering a, with a certain company that was run by a Mosutu national, as this company would be contributing back into the, his country. This was an issue of development in South Africa as well as in the Sutu. It is recorded in 1 Corinthians 5 that sexual sin is always painful. But incest decimates families and communities and leaves people isolated and angry. The Bible doesn't just make the statements because, you know, <laughs> they're just statements for, 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 for looking at. They make them for a reason. Chapter, <clears throat> chapter 6 of Sia's book, Rise, is titled Society. He addresses the problem of people being complacent while they watch and see gender-based violence being committed. What kind of family? Royal family, brotherhood, and even nation finds it funny that a man can be so abusive to his wife and children, going around telling people that he can't leave me because it will seem like abandonment in my hour of need. 
And meanwhile, he's openly having affairs and sex alliances, which they all know about. And then I must get killed for that. I was pulled to court for domestic violence, violence, which I never committed. And meanwhile, I was the one that was being domestically violently abused. And as I've said, this was done by a person because he was enabled by the very royal family and the whole nation of the Basutu that is now apparently going to take steps of the Nyatela kind in order to deal with me. And I do think there is a gospel song titled Nyatela. You know, for some reason, my voice is really suffering today. And it's so strange because I dreamt of the chief of staff of the government concubines and, and mistresses. You know, the one who was born in 1964. And now I can't even talk properly. Because they're always trying to kill and silence my voice. But it's not going to happen. Not this time around. It's the first time I become aware that development in societies and community, uh, communities includes having, having sex with anyone you come across, regardless of their marital status, just as long as the national sphere of the Basutu could rise with the CBD horny goat. This is really very interesting, but I'm going to leave it here for now. Thanks for listening.